Hello and welcome to church today. It's great to have you with us. My name's Katrina and I'm going to be leading us through our service today. Now our service today we have lots going on that we've got Laura leading our teaching, we've got a reading from Imogen and some brilliant jokes from Josh. And our theme today is loving Jesus. What does it mean for us to love Jesus and actually what does it mean for the fact that he loves us in return? So we're going to be thinking about that a little bit later. So we're going to begin with a song today, um, The Golden Rule. And that is all about, that golden rule is that we should love one another as God has loved us. So as we come to sing, let's stretch up nice and high and wiggle our fingers, stretch out in front and stretch our legs and wiggle our toes as we prepare to sing and dance and worship together. The golden rule is love and so we love one another like he loves us. God said to us, the golden rule is love and so we love one another like he loves us. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we're gonna love like him. It means we love, 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 love one another. Oh, we're gonna love like him. Oh dear, everyone. Flora looks quite sad today, doesn't she? You are sad. Are you going to tell me why you're sad? Oh dear. Okay, well, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But Flora's sad because Frankie went into frog school, didn't he? And told everybody that Flora smells like stinky swamp water because she lives in a stinky swamp. That's not a very nice thing to say, is it? But I think the thing that's even worse, Flora, is that Flora's saying that she will never, ever forgive him. Is that right? That even though he's your brother and you love him, you're not gonna forgive him. Well, I think there's probably lots, Flora, that you can learn from our story today. 
Because in our reading, um, one of Jesus' followers, Peter, had betrayed him. We know that. We've thought about that in previous weeks. But Peter betrayed Jesus by saying that he didn't know him. But Jesus, instead of saying that he won't ever forgive Peter, he does something really rather special. So should we have our reading? And then Laura is going to explain it a bit more to us. Reading from John chapter 21, verse 15 to 19. After they had eaten, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these others do? Yes, Lord, he answered. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Take care of my lambs. A second time Jesus said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Lord, he answered. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Take care of my sheep. A third time Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was sad because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? So he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Take care of my sheep. I am telling you the truth. When you were young, you used to get ready and go every, anywhere you wanted to. But when you were old, you would stretch out your hands and someone else would bind you and take you where you don't want to go. Then Jesus said to him, Follow me. Thank you, Amy, for that brilliant reading. Last week, Katrina helped us to understand more about the importance of knowing God. And today we are looking at loving God. The Bible tells us a lot about love. How to love, who to love, when to love and why to love. There are lots of times in the Bible where we are told that Jesus or the Father or God loves us. In the language the Bible was written, there were different words that mean love for different types of love. Now, I love my family. I love my friends. I love chocolate, I love my house, I love the beach, I love watching my favourite TV programmes. Do I love all of these things equally? No, I don't. We only have one word for love now. I love all of these things in very different ways. And I show my love for these things in different ways. I tell my family and friends that I love them. I show them that I love them with cuddles and by helping them with things they find difficult, things that I know they will like, I either buy them for them or I take photos and send them to them. But I don't really show or tell chocolate, the TV or my house that I love them. It's not really okay to cuddle your chocolate, is it? So, what does our reading show us about how Jesus asks us to love? We heard Jesus ask, do you love me? Not just once, but three times. Peter answers yes every time he is asked. But Jesus questions Peter and asks him to feed the lambs, take care of my sheep, feed my sheep. Now those are a bit strange, aren't they? I'm not sure how I would feel if I said I love you to someone and they replied by sending me off to do a job. We need to remember that Jesus didn't mean actual sheep. He means people. He is asking Peter to go out and tell others about Jesus's love and how important Jesus is for everyone. Jesus is asking Peter to show how much he loves him by sharing that love with others. It reminds me of a song that we used to sing when I was at school. It went, love is something if you give it away, you end up having more. It's just like a magic penny, hold it tight and you won't have any, but lend it, spend it and you'll have so many they'll roll all over the floor. When Peter does as Jesus asks, he goes off and shares God's love with others. He shares the joy and hope that loving Jesus brings. We are called to love God as he loves us. 
In Isaiah 43 verse 4, it says, You are priceless to me and I love you and honour you. This is God speaking to us, telling us that he loves us. We know from other parts of the Bible that this love is everlasting and strong and it has no terms or conditions. God is asking us to love him in the same way. In our reading, Jesus reminded us that to love is not just words, it requires action too. We are called to share this love, to show our love for Jesus and God in our everyday lives, treating others with love, respect and care, not judging or upsetting them. But also for asking for forgiveness from God and other people if we do cause any upset. Loving God isn't just about saying those words, I love you. It's about loving through action, through showing and teaching God's love and what we get from a loving God. I know God loves me. He knows everything about me, the good and the bad, and he still loves me. I know that through loving God and telling other people about God's love, I have even more love to share with others. I'm ready! <laughs> Hello and welcome to Making Do with Lizzie and Neve. Today we will be making salt dough hearts. To do this you will need cooking salt, plain flour, some warm water, a cup, a spoon, and a bowl. Now you will also go. you will also need some heart-shaped cookie cutters and thumbs. One cup of flour. Now it's time to get your hands dirty. Roll it first. Now we need our heart cutters. And we're going to cut out from the edge first. This one. When you have got your heart shape, you press your thumbs into That's it. it. It should, if you're lucky, make a heart shape. First of all, to make a hole. Your hearts need to go into the oven at 250 for 20 minutes. Once it's cooked, you get some paint on your thumb. Does it matter what colour? Place your thumb in the grooves you made. Today we made salt dough hearts to remind us that God loves us and that we love him. We'd love to see your photos. See you soon. Bye.
Where do you learn to make ice cream? I don't know. Where do you learn to make ice cream? Sunday school. <laughs> what does a heartbroken Lego person say? I don't know. What do they say? I'm falling to pieces. <laughs> what happened when the candle fell in love? I don't know. What happened when the candle fell in love? It found the perfect match. <laughs> So, Flora, it was really helpful, wasn't it, to hear from our reading and from Laura about how Jesus was able to not just forgive Peter, but to give him a really important job to do. Now, God's love, that love that is expressed through Jesus, is so big, so, so big. And we're going to have a song now um, that tells us about that big, big love. God's love is bigger than a burger. And this song is a little bit like Marmite. Some people really love it and some people really aren't all that sure. But it is a brilliant song because actually it is all about how much bigger God's love is than anything that we can imagine. So whether it's your favourite song or whether it's not, let's stand up and sing and dance and worship together. God's love is bigger than a burger, it is bigger than a mouse Bigger than an elephant and bigger than a house Bigger than a bus and bigger than a tree Bigger than a mountain, bigger than the sea What about the cloud? Bigger. What about the sky? Bigger. What about the earth? Bigger. What about the moon? Bigger. What about the sun? Bigger. And what about the stars? Bigger. Is anything bigger than this big love? Uh, no Big and wonderful, big and wonderful, big and wonderful, wonderful love. Big and wonderful, big and wonderful, big and wonderful love, love, love. God's love is bigger than a burger, it is bigger than a mouse. Bigger than an elephant and bigger than a house. Bigger than a bus and bigger than a tree. Bigger than a mountain, bigger than the sea. What about a cloud? Bigger. What about the sky? What about the earth? What about the moon? What about the sun? And what about the stars? Is anything bigger than this big love? Uh, no. Big and wonderful, big and wonderful, big and wonderful, wonderful love. Big and wonderful, big and wonderful, big and wonderful love, love, love. Is this big love all big enough to handle all my doubts and worries? Is this big love all big enough? To help with all my fears yes! Big and wonderful, big and wonderful, big and wonderful love Big and wonderful, big and wonderful, big and wonderful love, love, love Rubber Ducky and I say have a great birthday We send you wishes and kisses It's your big day, do it your own way this is not a jest, we wish you the best And all you do, may your dreams come true Have a clap, 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 clappy A clap, 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 clappy A half, 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 happy birthday Say goodbye, Rubber Ducky We have come to the end of our service and we've had a great time together, haven't we? It's been action-packed with lots to think about um, and lots to take away and perhaps pray about into our week. Because we've been thinking about, haven't we, how it's important for us not just to know Jesus, because we thought about that last week, but to love Jesus and to, be, to know what it is to be loved by him. That we see that, don't we, in the story of Peter, that Peter did one of the worst things, but Jesus not only forgave him, but he built the church upon him. Now, thinking about that building of the church, um, just one notice really this week, which is that in two weeks time, on the 23rd of May, it will be Pentecost. And we're going to be celebrating that together, hopefully with two in-person services in church. Now I say hopefully, because at the moment, nobody's coming. 
and we can't have a party for the birthday of the church with nobody there. Now at the end of this service there will be a slide with a QR code and you can book to come to one service or other 2pm or 4pm using the link on the QR code but if you can't get that to work then that's absolutely fine but do just send a message to the office as soon as possible because we need to plan activities and we need to order stuff in and most importantly we need to make sure that there is enough cake for everyone. So do book in for that and we're looking forward to that in a couple of weeks time as we celebrate together. So this week go into wherever God takes you um, loving others as Jesus has loved you. We know that when we bring the things that we do that are wrong to God, that he forgives us. And in turn, we should forgive others. So before we end today, let's just pray together to send us out in that. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this story that we've heard today. This story of love. What does it mean to love and be loved by you? Help us to love others with that same love. Help us to forgive. Help us to move forward forgiving and loving others. That even when perhaps they do things to us that hurt us, that we're able to forgive as you have forgiven us. So Lord, whether we're at home this week or at school or at work or doing other things, help us to live out your example, to love and care for others. Um, to reflect the love that you have shown each one of us. By your Holy Spirit, we ask that you would lead us and guide us and help us in this and in all things this week. Amen. Amen. So have a great week and know that you are loved by God and then share that love with others. But until next week, have a great week. Bye bye.